Okay, this is a video accompaniment to the flow feed filtering part one tutorial where we're going to create a filter that looks for out of the money call buyers of a certain size. Obviously, I already had to create this filter as part of the original how to tutorial, but if you are a visual learner or a kinesthetic learner, I'm going to recreate it from scratch and you can you can follow along this way. So let's get started by looking at our criteria. The original article, the challenge, so to speak, was finding out of the money call buyers, opening trades on single name equities only, where the desk was spending at least $500,000 to initiate the position. We don't care whether the whole trade went off in one single transaction or or if it was spread out across different exchanges and the unusual whales tool identifies it as a, as an aggregate sweep type trade across many exchanges and the time frame we're looking at is expiries somewhere between 2 weeks and 6 months from now we're essentially looking for bullish swing trade type ideas so before we actually get started, what I'm going to do is break this up into a list so we can pick off our individual requirements line by line. So out of the money call buyers, opening trades, single name equities only. I want spent at least 500k to initiate the position. all bought in the same order or spread out across aggregated orders on many exchanges is very wordy but we're just going to roll with it and expiring between two weeks and six months from now great so let's start with out of money call buyers from the unusual whales site i click on flow data and select flow feed the previous session filters are going to load and that's okay we don't have to worry about that. We can click on the filters button and then select the reset filters red icon right here to start from scratch. And so we are beginning with out of the money call buyers. So first one was out of the money and we have a field here called percent out of the money. And the way that this works is you've got a, a minimum on the left and a maximum on the right. I want it to be at least 0% out of the money, so I'm gonna key in a zero there. I want call buyers, so I'm gonna hide puts. And in order to identify buyers, I'm gonna assume that these buyers are aggressive and that they are transacting at the ask. And so I'm gonna hide the bid side transactions, I'm gonna hide mid, and I'm gonna hide no side transactions as well. So let's go back to our list and we are done with out of the money call buyers. Our next requirement is for opening trades and the unusual whales system is really convenient in this way. There is a built in on off switch for opening trades. And so I'm going to go ahead and click that turn on opening trades. You can read about that logic. If you're if you're interested and you'll be able to see when you hover over this little briefcase or, or lock I'm not exactly sure what the icon is but when you see that you can be certain that it was an opening trade and with that one click we're done with this next criteria next criteria single name equities only so let's go back up I only want single name equities, so I'm going to hide ETFs and ETNs, and I'm going to hide indices as well. But ADRs are are okay. I would still consider those single name. So let's go back to our criteria. We can check this one off. Spent at least five hundred thousand to initiate the position. Cool. So here. We've got our, our minimum maximum setup again for premium. And I'm going to type in 500,000. And with that, I think we can check off our 
next criteria there for $500,000 opening the position. Now this one, all bought in the same order or spread out across aggregate orders on many exchanges. In the unusual whale system, this means that you're, you're either having a single transaction or multiple transactions that are that are compiled by unusual whales into one single transaction. That's called a flow alert in the unusual whale system. So I want to make sure that I'm grabbing flow alerts and single transaction trades. And so there is an aggregated trades option. I want to I want to go ahead and allow that and make sure that I have the aggregated trades selected coming back here and and obviously I know that my filter is not removing trades that were done in one single transaction because I can still see there are transactions where I don't have this little flow alert icon next to it like this DJT 47 strike call expiring at the end of November for example this was one single 500 lot transaction so let's grab our criteria, cross this one out, and then our last one is our is our time frame here. And the low is two weeks away, and the high is six months away from right now. And so in order to execute this, we're going to use the, the days till expiration. Let's see here. We have another, another minimum, uh, minimum maximum here. So for DTE, if I'm considering something two weeks away, in my mind, for, for single name equities where expirations are every Friday, what that means is not this upcoming Friday, but maybe but maybe the following Friday. And so in order to in order to always catch that, we need the, the days till expiration to always be at least six days. Because if it's if it's a Friday, like if today was Friday, October 25th, the the closest expiration I would want to see would be Friday, November 1st, which is at least six days away. And so I'm going to set this minimum at six in order to look at the very earliest, look at the next Friday's expiration. And then for something that is maximally six months away, I want to be a little bit a little bit conservative on that. I know that there are 365 days a year, but there's a, a leap year every four years and that will have 366 days. So I'm going to set this to 183, which would be 366 divided by two. So six months being kind of a colloquial term, I want to say that this is about half a year away. And so I think, if I'm not mistaken now, that crosses off all of our criteria. The last thing to do here at this point is to make a final decision. There are certain little extra, maybe nice to have criteria you wanna include or, or uh, not include. And so one that we talked about in the how-to guide is the multi-leg only. So for example, today, which is Monday, October 28th, you can see that there are some multi-leg trades that are included inside this inside these filter results. And so a multi-leg trade might be something as easy as a vertical call spread in this in this example or it might be a much more complex calendarized position or some big trader rolling a rolling a position and it looks like a it looks like a calendar. And so it's really up to you whether or not you want to include or eliminate multi-leg trades. And so if you if you really only want to see the single leg type of trade, no spreads, then you would select single leg only. If you only wanted to look at multi-leg trades, you could select multi-leg only. For the time being, I'm just going to leave them both in here. And is there anything else I might want to add? No, I don't think so. I think this will, I think this is good. This will get the job done. So the final step is to save this filter. So I'm going to call this new filter 500K OTM calls stock only version two. And then I'll click this check button. Okay. And so now 
if at any time I am at a, a fresh flow feed screen or I have some other filter criteria applied, some other investigation that was happening here, if I hit this reset and everything's back to default or I'm looking at some other flow configuration, some filters that were sent to me by a colleague, I can always get back to my saved filters by clicking the saved filters button and selecting the filter that we just created right here, which is 500K out of the money calls, stock only. There should be, I think there should be version two. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so I go ahead and click on that one out of my save filters folder. And, and here we are. We can see the trades today that meet these criteria. And at any time, if we want to jump back to it, if we're ever at a state where our, our feed has been reset in some way, shape, or form, we can always grab it out of the, the saved filters folder right here and, and go on and pick, pick that particular one. So if you have any questions, please feel free to chime in in the Discord or, or email me directly. You can reach me at dan at unusualwhales.com. Thanks so much.